food in Jin's life. People work to have access on adequate food, same as how food works to access life on people. This makes food production, by the means of agriculture, a significant industry all over the world. Also, the economic stability, health, and security of its countrymen make agricultural productivity very important for a country. The Philippines is mainly an agricultural nation with a land area of 30 million hectares, 47% of which is agricultural land. Rice and corn production is important for the economic stability and food security of the Philippines, making it consume the 10% of the Philippine land. With the significance of rice and corn in the country, the Philippines today had ventured into an advanced scheme of agricultural production. Presently, the adoption of genetically modified crop in the Philippines is one of the considered biggest achievements and developments of the country in the field of agriculture. In fact, the Philippine now stands as the 10th largest producer of GM crop. Aside from rice, corn is one of the many crops farmers plant in the Philippines. This is because Corn ranks second to rice, not only in terms of area devoted to its production, but it has been a staple food of about 20% of the total population of the Filipinos. San Genicio, a fourth-class municipality located in the northern part of the province of Iloilo, occupies an area of 12,706 and 42 hectares, in which 9,992 and 76 hectares is an agricultural land. From the 9,992 and 76 hectares, approximately 1,800 hectares is dedicated for the production of corn. Genetically modified corn production is vital in the municipality of San Genicio, as farmers have the freedom to their variety of corn, either traditional or conventional. Farmers from San Genicio stand independently from their local government unit, providing them less supervision over the rampant production of genetically modified corn in the municipality. As far as the product and income are concerned, it reveals an outstanding impact on farmers' lives that made them choose hybrid corn over the traditional varieties. As a top producer in the province of Iloilo, San Genicio markets its corn mostly to the feed milling company and the different municipalities. 
one municipality is the municipality of Pavia. GM corn serves both human and animal consumption, justifying the high demand for its production. The acceptability of the production of the genetically modified corn in San Genicio varies depending on one's involvement over its production or consumption. Despite the excessive and expensive investment on the fertilizer, producers are enclosed with the guaranteed high yields of the production. Consumers, on the other hand, are astounded with the high quality of the genetically modified corn compared to the traditional variety. However, to reverse the misconception, the University of the Philippines Los Baños, with the support of other academies and different government agencies, such as the Department of Agriculture, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, and Department of Agrarian Reform, had a farmers' scientist training program implemented in the municipality of San Junicio. So, kaya na mention about the FSTP no, or Farmer Scientist Training Program. This is a convergence program between other government agencies, including the UPLB, the Academy, like your school, the Mr. Visayas State University, the Department of Agriculture, the NR, DAR, uh, iban pa, no? in order to protect our environment. No? So, that's why nga, habang kayo na, magamit kita sa COVID pollinated kag, kag uh, para makita mo nato nga ang nga ang income no ako compare sa hybrid nga mais makakompete man ang COVID pollinated so this is true sa not just planting the open pollinated but this is also true the crop uh, in intercropping system like other crops pwede nato maupod sa ato nga mais in order also to gain higher yield or income. So, hindi na siya purely mais. Pwede man taka intercrop sa kamuti, sa mani, monggo, or mong beans. Para nga, instead nga ma-hybrid kita, matanong na lang kita sa ato na traditional varieties para mag-hire man ang ato ni income. At the same time, nakabulik na pa-protect sa environment kaya sa health sa consumers. Salamat kami sa UPLB kay isa ina sa mga project na, na identify nila ang San Junicio para maka-avail ang amuna ng project. Yan ang uh, natawag natin na Farmer Scientist Training Program. So, ang ila sila nga, ang amun silang activity, mayara kami na nga uh, klase. Nagkanda kami sa uh, klase, bali four months na siya. Alin sa pagtanong namin sa mais, hasta nga ma-harvest. Kag may lain-lain, ina siya nga trial. Uh, ano. So, may uh, gina ano nila ang open pollinated pa, para tungod kay ang sa ma-augment natin ang naga, ano nga sa atin subong na uh, uh, rice sufficiency no, program sa government. Kay dong nagadamay na kita ang ating uh, production sa rice. So, para nga ma-ugnan yun ang uh, lower production, so, nagaano kita sa ibang nga barat na, na crops para nga ma-improve ang ating uh, uh, production. The program aims to educate the farmers of the long-term benefit, sustainable development, and how to maximize production out of the traditional variety are the open pollinated corn production, eliminating the GM corn production. Farmers in San Junicio found a need for the transformation from organic farming to transgenic farming as they believe to the significant benefits of genetically modified corn production to them as producers. However, scholars and environmentalists 
with their initial knowledge of the future effects of this production to the environment, insists the return of farmers to traditional farming, introducing strategies that can still maximize production. The municipality of San Junicio, having been recognized for its quality corn, continues to explore whether indeed the adoption of genetically modified corn production will continue to bring them good profit for farmers and healthy farmlands for the future generations. What is most important is that the local government unit and its people work together in attaining sustainable development, meeting their needs at present without compromising the future generations to meet theirs. Thank you.